We're gonna review our quadrilaterals a little bit. Uh, we've got four equal sides and four right angles. This is a square. All we're doing is naming the quadrilaterals here. Nothing too crazy. Being able to recognize them. This one, this one has four right angles. All four sides are not equal though. We have opposite sides are equal. When I have four right angles and opposite sides are equal, this is a rectangle. And number three, this is when I have two sets of congruent adjacent sides. Adjacent meaning right next door to each other. So I got two sets of sides that are right next door to each other that are the same. Um, this would be a kite. This one has one set of parallel lines. This is a trapezoid. It says one set of parallel lines, but it also has, so it's a trapezoid, but it also has these legs that are congruent. This would be an isosceles trapezoid. Okay. And then there's one other one that I want to look at, and that is number 15. Number 15, um, it doesn't say anything about the sides. It doesn't really say anything about the angles, but it has two sets of parallel lines. When you have two sets of parallel lines, that's a parallelogram. Okay. So how about you push pause, try to get all these other ones done, see if you can just name them. Okay. And number six, this is a kite. Kite. Number seven, let's see if I can zoom out just a little bit. There you go. Number seven is a rectangle. Number eight, it's an isosceles trapezoid. Number nine, Man, we haven't done this one yet. Four congruent sides. When I have four congruent sides, that's a rhombus. And this one is two sets of congruent adjacent sides. So you know, these are different right here. This, All of those have one tick mark, meaning they're all the same. These just have one. These have two, meaning that these are equal and these are equal, but these two are not equal. These two are not equal. So this is a kite. It's important to be able to distinguish between these two. On the back, uh, number 11, this is a trapezoid. Number 12, this is a square. Number 13, this is an isosceles trapezoid. Number 14, is a kite, looks like a squished kite a little bit. Okay, we already said parallelogram on 15, 16, rectangle. 17 is a kite again. 18 is a rhombus, all four sides are congruent. Number 19, two sets of parallel lines, parallelogram. And 20 is a just trapezoid, not isosceles trapezoid. If it was isosceles trapezoid, I'd have these two sides marked. Okay. I want you to find this sheet. It looks like this. Review quadrilaterals. Um, all right. To start with, we're given some parallelograms. So solve for X in these parallelograms. Um, in a parallelogram, opposite sides are congruent. So I have that nine equals 10x minus one. I would add the one over here, add the one, It'd be 10x equals 10, divide by 10x equals one. Okay. Um, let's look at number three down here. Number three, when I have a parallelogram, I'm asking myself, are they opposite angles or are they adjacent angles? So opposite, meaning they're going to be congruent or adjacent, meaning they're going to add to give me 180 degrees. So these are across from each other. That means they're opposite. Adjacent would be right next door to each other like that. 
but these are across from each other, so they're opposite angles. They are equal. 21x minus 6 equals 120. I'm going to add the 6 over there, get 21x equals 126. Divide by 21, and I would get 6. Okay. Number 5 over here. So I'm trying to decide, you know, are these opposite or adjacent angles these are opposite angles um, number six looks like those are adjacent angles though so these are opposite they're going to be equal these are adjacent they're going to add to give me 180 um, so it wants us to find the measure of angle s so once i solve for x i need to plug it back in to get whatever angle s is okay um, so these are opposite angles let's set them equal to each other Man, this is an easy one. Subtract 24x. x equals 4. Okay, x equals 4. And then I want to solve for angle S. It gives me what angle S is right there. So angle S is equal to 24x plus 4. I'm going to take that 4 and plug it in for x right there. And I don't know what that is. That's 80, 96, 100 degrees. Angle S equals 100 degrees. Let's look at a mid-segment problem. So I got solve for X right here. Each figure is a trapezoid, okay? So mid-segment is the average of the top and the bottom. So I've got 4X minus 20 is equal to the average of the top and the bottom. This one's really easy because these are all just like numbers over here. It's, there's no X's over here, so I can just punch that in my calculator and get, that's 48 over two is 24 maybe. I'm gonna add the 20 over and get 4X equals 44, divide by four and get X equals 11. Okay, how about you push pause right now? And try numbers 2, 4, 6, and 8. 2, 4, 6, and 8. Okay. Now, number 2, these are opposite sides They uh, in a parallelogram, and they are equal. So 22 equals x plus 10. Subtract the 10, x equals 12. Number 4, these are opposite angles in a parallelogram. They are equal. 105 equals 10x plus 5. Subtract the 5, you get 100 equals 10x. Divide by 10, you get x equals 10. Okay. Number 6. Got to solve for the measure of angle B. These are adjacent angles. They're not opposite angles, so they are supplementary, meaning they're going to add together to give me 180 degrees. So 14x plus 1 plus 20x plus 9 equals 180. Combine my like terms. 14x plus 20x is 34x. 1 plus 9 is 10 equals 180. Subtract the 10. 34x equals 170. And that would be 5 when you divide. Okay, that's not my answer. I don't know why I boxed it like an idiot. So I need angle B. So angle B, it has numbers in there, or it has stuff in there. So I've got angle B is equal to 20X plus nine. I'm gonna take that five and plug it right there. 20 times five plus nine, and that will be 109 degrees. That's my answer right there. Okay. And I bet if we plugged in five, so we got X is five. I bet if we plugged it in right here, we would have got whatever adds to give me one. So maybe 71. So five times 14 is 70 plus one, 71. That works. Number eight, mid-segment problem. The mid-segment is equal to the average of the top and the bottom. So once again, just numbers over there. So that is 30, 15. When I add the nine over, I get 24X 
equals six. Okay. Some more mid-segment problems. Um, once again, the middle, 24, is equal to the average of the top and the bottom. So add the top and the bottom and divide by two. Um, I guess we could, well, let's go ahead and simplify. 24 equals x plus 40 over two. So I just added the 19 and the 21, got 40. And now I'm gonna cross multiply, make my proportion. That would be two times 24 equals x plus 40. And that's 48 equals x plus 40. Subtract the 40 and you get eight. Okay. Number 11, it looks like it is a isosceles trapezoid. So we got an isosceles trapezoid. And that means that we have congruent base angles in an isosceles trapezoid. You know, if we've got an isosceles trapezoid, that's congruent to that, then these angles are congruent and these angles are congruent, okay? If we have one like on the top and the bottom, then those are gonna be supplementary. They're gonna to add to give us 180. But if they're on the bottom or on the top, you know, it could be rotated, but you know what I mean, on the bottom or the top, then they're gonna be equal. So there's 15 X plus 22 equals 112. And I'm gonna subtract the 22 over when I subtract 22 over, that is 90. And then I'm going to divide by 15 and get six, I believe. Okay, push pause right now. Try numbers 10 and 12. Push pause, try numbers 10 and 12 real quick, okay? So I got the mid segments on this one, 19 is equal to the average of the top and the bottom. So, oh, that should be a minus sign, sorry. Minus 19 plus 27 divided by two. So I added three X minus 19 with 27 divided by two to find the average, that's the middle. So that would be 19 equals three X, negative 19 plus 27 is plus eight over two. And then I make a proportion, I cross multiply. Two times 19 would be 38 equals 3x plus 8. Subtract the 8 over, you get 30 equals 3x. And divide by 3, you get x equals 10. Number 12, um, this is an isosceles trapezoid again, just like this one. We said that they have congruent base angles, so those top two would be congruent, the two on the bottom would be congruent. But when you're dealing with the top and the bottom, those are going to add together to give you 180. Okay, so like if this is 85, we said that this would be 85. And we know that this plus this is going to give me 180. So I'm going to say 180 equals 85 plus 26 X minus 9. Now I need to combine like terms. I got 180 equals 85 and negative 9 would give me 76. Is that right? And then I'm going to subtract 76 over. That would be 104 equals 26x divided by 26, and that is 4. When I slide it over here, um, these are all isosceles trapezoids, 13 through 16. So these diagonals are going to be congruent. So kind of boring, but it is what it is. TV is 17. That's that whole line right there. That's 17. UW is 3x minus 1, so those are congruent. So I got 3x minus 1 equals 17. Add the 1, 3x equals 18. Divide by 3x equals 6. Okay. Over here I got JL. That's that whole thing is 10. KM is 11x minus 1. Those are diagonals. And an isosceles trapezoid, they are equal. Oh, 10 equals. How about a weird equal sign? 11x minus 1, add the 1 over, you get 11 equals 11x, divide by 11, x equals 1. Okay, push pause right now, try those other two, 15 and 16, please. Fifteen. QS, that's that, that's 10, RT, 
is 3x minus 5. So 10 equals 3x minus 5. I'm going to add 5 over and get 3x equals 15. Divide by 3x equals 5. Last one. I got eg, that's this whole thing, is 20. This one is 9x plus 2. So I got 9x plus 2 equals 20. Subtract the 2, you get 9x equals 18. Divide by 9, x equals 2.